This is an invitation to programming developed for Atari Incorporated by Program Design Incorporated. Lesson one. This is an invitation to programming. This series is designed to teach you how to make the Atari computer do things for you. You don't have to know a thing about computers to use this series. You are probably already familiar with some of the things the Atari computer can do. You won't learn how to make the computer do all these things now, but this demonstration cassette will teach you the following things. How to write simple programs. How to do math. We'll also demonstrate how to change color. How to do simple sound effects. Even how to do simple graphics. After using this set of demonstration programs, you can go on to use the Atari Basic Book. This will teach you the basic language in more detail, and you will be able to learn more complicated tasks. But for now, we'll keep things pretty simple and just help you get started programming your computer. There are six lessons on this cassette. Each lesson will use a step-by-step -step approach to learning. Information will be presented in small steps. On each step, you will be asked a question. When you can correctly answer the question, you will go on to the next step. This will continue until you reach the goal for that lesson. Then, if you like, you can practice what you have just learned before you go on to the next lesson. Before we begin, let's take a quick look at the keyboard of the Atari computer. It is laid out like a typewriter keyboard. If you make a typing error, you can correct it by pressing the backspace key. Push the backspace key on the upper right-hand side of the keyboard. Another important key is the quotation mark. It is over the two on the keyboard. To get the quotation mark, Push either shift key and push the two just as you do on a typewriter. Press it now. Here are two more keys you should know about. The one flashing with the Atari symbol on it makes the letters reverse. If you accidentally push it and get reverse letters, push it again and you will get normal letters. Here is the break key. Push it, and this program will come to a stop. So don't press it. If you accidentally press it, type C-O-N-T to continue. The program will go on from the point where it stopped. We are now ready to begin learning about programming. But first, type C-L-O-A-D to load the second part of this lesson. <laughs> 